As media franchises grow, their barrier to entry rises. For every new installment added to a series, there is more for potential fans to keep track of before getting invested. And in the world of anime, some franchises take this barrier to new heights by adding installments that do not follow in a linear order, with each new installment having the potential to happen anywhere on the timeline. And this is what causes future confusion among potential fans on how do they watch said franchises. In my previous video I covered the Monogatari series and hopefully explained all the necessary info for a novice to be able to jump right into a series that I have enjoyed for some time now. And today we are going to cover another one of these franchises, the world of the Railgun slash Index series. Now, if you are new to this franchise, there are a few things you should know before we jump into the watch orders. First, what is included in this franchise? Well, as of the making of this video, this anime franchise is made up by three series with two having three seasons and the third currently having one season, with a potential second on the way. There is also three OVAs, two specials, and a movie, with there also being additional potential spin-offs in the source material that might one day be animated. But leaving those aside, let's only worry about what has been animated so far. Second, one quirk that makes this franchise unique compared to others is that many times throughout the series, multiple story arcs will happen at the exact same time, whether that be to show you a different perspective during the same events, or just showing you what might be happening on the other side of town during the previous story arc. Many times throughout this series, the order in which you see events unfold ultimately comes down to personal preference, since no matter what, you are watching the same events just from a different perspective. This leads us to the two main watch orders for this franchise. The Railgun First Watch Order, also known as the Simplified Chronological Order, and the Index First Watch Order, also known as the Broadcast Order. Each of these orders have their own merits that I will cover later on, so to start off, because I assume most of you are more familiar with linear storytelling, let's first cover the Railgun First Watch Order. Now, as the name implies, the first installment you watch is Railgun. From there you watch the first Railgun OVA, then Railgun S, then Index Season 1, then Accelerator Season 1, then Accelerator Season 2 whenever that comes out, Index Season 2, Index the Movie, Railgun T, and finally Index Season 3. Now the other two OVAs and the two Railgun specials you do not actually have to worry about because they don't really happen anywhere specific on the timeline. So you don't actually even have to watch them. If you do want to watch them, I would recommend most likely watching them after Railgun or Railgun S but they do not add anything to the story regardless, so the choice is up to you. Also, some of you might be wondering how can I know where to place Accelerator Season 2, which, out of the recording of this video, hasn't even been announced yet, and that is because, quite simply, I have read the manga. So I know what Season 2 is going to cover, and without getting into spoilers, I can tell you it happens following the events of Accelerator Season 1 and before the events of Index Season 2. Anyways, the main benefits behind watching the series in the Railgun First Watch Order can be boiled down to three main points. 1. The entire franchise focuses on two sides of this world, the magic side and the science side. Thus, because Railgun focuses mainly on the science side of the conflict, some viewers feel understanding the magic side becomes easier once you already have an understanding of the science side before you watch Index. 2. Because the story of Railgun is from Misaka's perspective, you only learn information when she does, meaning you are less likely to become overwhelmed with all the facts and details of this world, which is a common complaint against Index. This is also why some viewers find that the Railgun First Watch Order gives you a higher emotional impact overall when compared to the Index First Watch Order because of said focus on Misaka's point of view. Finally, 3. Arguably one of the best arcs of the entire series is the main arc of Railgun S. However, this same arc is covered within Index Season 1, yet nowhere near as in depth. 15 episodes versus 5. Because of this, many viewers find that the emotional impact and mystery of this arc in Railgun S is heavily diluted if you already know the outcome of the arc from watching Index Season 1 first. Furthermore, many viewers find this arc more enjoyable if you only learn new information when Misaka learns it, which you can only experience if you watch Railgun S before Index. From there, 
let's move on to the index first watch order, which again, as the name implies, starts with index. From here, you can go right in the order they were broadcast. So next, Railgun, then the first Railgun OVA, Index Season 2, Railgun S, Index the Movie, Index Season 3, Accelerator Season 1, Railgun T, and whenever Accelerator Season 2 happens, it would go at the end. The main three benefits there are to watching the series in the Index first watch order is, one, as mentioned before, this world is split into two halves, the magical and the scientific. And unlike Railgun, Index touches on both of these parts with an entire half of the universe being lost if you do not watch Index as soon as possible. 2. It is worth remembering that Index is the original, while Railgun is the spin-off. As such, it is the spin-off's job to expand upon concepts, characters, and events that were first introduced in the original, aka Index. Because of this, some would argue that you should first be exposed to said aspects of the story through Index instead of Railgun. Finally, 3. Many highlight the fact that Index does a much better job of expanding the lore and background information of the world because of his said role as the origin of the franchise. Furthermore, some would argue that by watching the story in the Railgun First Watch Order, you lose the perspective of hindsight that you would have if you had watched the story in the Index First Watch Order. Ultimately, these are your first two main options for the viewing of the franchise and the main arguments behind each of them. It is now up to you to decide which one out of these two do you prefer. Do you want a more personal story that allows you to arguably become more invested in a personal struggle, leading to a more emotional story? Then I would advise you to watch the series in the Railgun First Watch Order. If you want to have a better understanding of the entire overarching story in this universe, and really understand both sides of this world while also being able to see the larger than life parts of this story come to life, then I would advise you to watch the series in the Index First Watch Order. There is no right or wrong answer here, whichever one you prefer for better enjoyment is up to you. If you are confused about everything or anything I have just said, don't worry, I have put together an infographic that compiles all of the information I have talked about in this video and more in the description that you can easily look at or download to refer back to while watching the series. In case you're wondering, don't worry, this only took about a month for me to put together after referencing many different sources, so I promise all the information in this infographic is as accurate as possible. Finally, there is one more thing we should probably discuss that I mentioned earlier in the video, and that is the full chronological order of events for the series. Because as you might have guessed by the fact that one of the orders is called the Simplified Chronological Watch Order, that means there is a full chronological watch order. There is also technically a semi-chronological watch order where you just pick and choose what elements from the full chronological order do you want to include in your Simplified Chronological Order, but that's really up to you after you already know about the full chronological timeline. However, usually I would upload a second video with this one explaining why I like this franchise so much so more people can get invested in it, incentivizing them to actually want to embark on this endeavor. But luckily, Giga has already made a fantastic video doing just that, so I highly recommend you go check that out. So instead, because the video is already becoming too long for my liking, the second video that I will upload with this one will be me diving deep into explaining the full anime chronological timeline of events for this franchise. So if you're interested in that, please click the video at the end. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a like if you liked it. If you really liked it, maybe subscribe to my channel, I make new videos every so often. On that note, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We recently passed a thousand subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I'm really sorry it takes so long to put out these videos sometimes. This pair of videos took in total about two months to put together from researching for the infographic to editing the final product. This has taken much longer than I originally anticipated, but we are finally here and I am happy with the end product. If you want to watch more of my videos, you can watch one of the two videos on screen right now. I assume they will be something you like because the algorithm recommends it. And with that, my name is Annie Offi, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which I promise this time will come much sooner. Bye, and peace!